Picture this. You've got a secret. Not just any secret. A cryptographic key worth $10 million in Bitcoin. Now, who do you trust with it? Give it to one person? That's a single point of failure. Split it randomly? Risky. Each piece might leak a hint. What you actually want is something smarter. Split it into N pieces, where any K pieces can recover the secret, but K minus one? They tell you absolutely nothing. This is called a K of N threshold scheme. Sounds cool, right? And the trick isn't buried in complex cryptography. It's hiding in something you probably learned back in high school. Here's the insight. For any N points on a graph, there's exactly one polynomial of degree N minus one that passes through all of them. Not zero, not two, exactly one. And that neat little fact became the foundation of one of cryptography's most elegant ideas, Shamir's secret sharing. Let's make this concrete. Your secret is 3141. Maybe it's a private key you want to protect. We'll use a three of five scheme. Three shares needed, five shares total. Here's how it works. We hide the secret as f of zero in a polynomial. For a three of five setup, we need a degree two polynomial, a simple parabola. Let's say f of x equals 3141 plus 166x plus 94x squared. Those extra numbers? They're random, they don't matter. They just hide the secret. Now we evaluate at five different points. At x equals one, we get 3401. At x equals two, 3849, and so on. Five points, five shares. Hand them out to your trusted group. To recover the secret, you only need any three of those shares. Using Lagrange interpolation, you can reconstruct the one unique polynomial that fits them all. Plug in x equals zero, and there it is. Your secret, 3141. But with only two shares? There are infinite polynomials that could pass through those points. The secret could be anything. Not hard to guess, mathematically unknowable. That's what we call information theoretic security.